Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Verz and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial video actually on how to get custom camos over on Black Ops 2 and IW5 Plutonium as well as IW4X uh, which is Modern Warfare 2 obviously. Um, so right off the bat I'm going to let you know that there are going to be timestamps on the screen right now as well as in the description that you can click to to skip to that part of the video for that game that you're looking for that way you don't have to watch the whole thing as well as all the downloads that I mentioned in this video will all be linked down below so just go in the description for anything you need uh, other than that just you know watch the video and you'll learn how to do it uh, for Black Ops 2 I use Dark Matter and Black Sky which is the mastery camo from Infinite Warfare which is one of my favorite mastery camos that they've ever done in Call of Duty. Uh, for IW5 or Modern Warfare 3, we did Damascus camo just because it was simple and it looked good. And for IW4X or Modern Warfare 2, we did Damascus and Obsidian. Obsidian didn't look too great, uh, but Damascus looks pretty cool. And the folder I'm going to link down below has a ton of camos you can choose from. I just chose those because they were just kind of easy to pick out. Uh, the other ones I didn't really recognize, but they all looked really good. And Black Ops 2 surprisingly has a lot of animated camos you can find on the Plutonium forums or just by searching around on YouTube and stuff. But I'll, I'll link down below everything that's in this video. Um, and if you want to use a different camo, it's pretty much the same process. So first of all, we're gonna start off here with Black Ops 2 because it is really easy. And I figure it's the most requested one, at least in my chat and in my comments section and stuff. So we'll start off with that one. So now, first of all, you're gonna to wanna to go to wherever you keep your Black Ops 2, whether that's through Steam or if you downloaded it you know, through a torrent or whatever. Uh, I have everything through Steam and it's in my game drive. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna to go to the Steam folder, uh, Steam apps, and then common and then call of duty black ops 2 like i said if you download the game another way or if you keep your game somewhere else you know it'll obviously just be wherever you have black ops 2 installed but if you have it on steam usually it's gonna be wherever your steam folder is steam apps common black ops 2. so then in here you'll see uh, all the you know all the stuff for call of duty black ops 2. right here is a folder called t6r i know some people don't have this folder um, you know, you should have it, but if you don't just create one, I actually had to create one. You know, every video I saw, everybody had already had this folder, but unfortunately I did not. So just create a new folder. Uh, so you just right click, you know, new folder, T6R, the name, the second one, data, then images. And then this is where you're going to put all the stuff from the camo. So basically what you're wanting to do is just open up where you ever, you download the black ops two camos. So let's say dark matter, right? So you're just going to drag all this and then drop it right in here. Obviously I already have it in there, so I'm not going to do that. And if you want the two, you know, the second camo as well, you can just do the same thing, drag it, drop really simple, really easy. That's it. So just to recap, I'm going to show you here. So once you're in your black ops two folder, you're going to make a folder called T6R inside of that data, then images, and then you put all the stuff in there and you're going to create all those folders. If you don't have them already, which uh, I did not, but I know some people do, and that's it. You close this folder, launch the game, and you'll have the camos. And it look great in game. I haven't found a camo yet that doesn't work. I've tried a lot of them. These are just the ones I have, you know, for now. And what they basically do is they replace the in-game camos, usually the DLC camos. So, like, for Dark Matter, it replaces, I believe, the Cyborg camo or whatever it's called. And then uh, for Black Sky, it replaces Dragon camo. So, you'll see it in the menu as well and in-game. And on the creative class, on the gun as well, you'll see the symbol there. And that's it. You know, that's really simple. It's really easy to do. Again, this is only for Black Ops 2 Plutonium. I doubt this works in the vanilla version of the game. Uh, I mean, it's worth a shot, but, you know, I doubt it does. This is for Plutonium. So, yeah, that's Black Ops 2 Plutonium done already. So next up, we got IW5 here. Uh, this is obviously Modern Warfare 3 Plutonium. Right here, I said, you know, I downloaded Damascus camo. So what you're wanting to do for this, this is actually probably the most complicated one, at least for me. Uh, I'm not sure it's because of updates that Plutonium has done to IW5, but it's not as simple as the videos I watched. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step what you're going to have to do here. So again, you want to go to wherever you have your games. You know, again, I have that on the game drive. Uh, I have it through Steam, so I'm going to go in my Steam folder. You know, if you have it installed somewhere else, just go to wherever Modern Warfare 3 is installed. Um, like I said, if you have it through Steam, just follow these steps. So again, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Modern Warfare 3. So now once you're in Modern Warfare 3 here, you're going to want to go to the main folder. Then you're going to want to find IW6.IWD. So now I will mention now you are going to need WinRAR or something similar to this to open this. Um, so basically what you want to do is just open up WinRAR. This is just all my stuff right here. I'm not opening any specific .RAR, just the program WinRAR. So if you just type in here, WinRAR, and then open it up. So that's what this looks like. Then you want to drag IW underscore 06 into here. And it will open it up like this, and you'll see an images folder. Then you're going to open the images folder. Then you're going to come over here and open up your Model for 3, wherever you save the camos to. So I saved it right here. Open up this. Then you're going to drag all this. 
right into there. I already did it, so I'm not going to do that. And again, this replaces a camo, it actually replaces gold camo. But this is where it gets a little bit tricky because a lot of people say this is the final step. You go in the game, it's there. Now, that was the case partially for me. Once I launched the game, it showed, you know, where you would normally see the gold camo, it showed Damascus. It still said gold, but it was Damascus camo. But once I got in game, it wasn't working. I couldn't figure out why. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is because of an update or what. So now once you've dragged into the .rar folder, you can just close everything out. Don't launch the game just yet. You're going to want to do one more thing. Go right into the search bar and type percent local app data percent. Then, you know, click on that folder, obviously, and it'll open up something like this. Now, instead of going to the Steam folder this time, you're going to want to find wherever Plutonium is installed. So you'll see a folder usually just called Plutonium. Open that up, then go to storage, then go to the game you're trying to modify, which is IW5. Then you're going to go to images, and you're going to drag it all in here. As you can see, I've already done that. So again, just to recap, you're going to want to go percent local app data percent enter find the plutonium folder then storage then iw5 then images drag it all into here that's it now you can launch the game everything should work as normal and it again it looks really cool in iw5 there are quite a few camos you can try i haven't really messed around with iw5 too much because i don't play it as much as the other ones uh but yeah definitely looks great easy to do that one step with the local app data really threw me off because it wasn't any video i watched so i hope that helped you and again it's as easy as that so that's pretty much it for iw5 Now we're going to move on to IW4X or Modern Warfare 2. So again, the folder I'm going to leave down below is for Micro's Ultimate IW4X Camo Pack. So shout out to Micro. I'm not exactly sure who made the other ones, but uh, I'll link the, the forum post down below where you can find the downloads. I'm assuming it's one of those people. Uh, but again, credit to whoever made that. Obviously, I had nothing to do with that. I'm just using it. This guy, Micro, he's a pretty well-known YouTuber in this you know, IW4X or modded Call of Duty community. Uh, he makes a lot of good videos, so go check him out. I'll leave his channel down below as well as the download link. So once you open up this... Um, you're going to see there is a lot of camo folders in here. They're for all different games. Uh, we got World War II camos, Ghosts, Cold War, whatever. Like I said, for the sake of the video, I just decided to use uh, Damascus and Obsidian, which is found in this folder here. So what you're going to do is basically just extract whatever game you want to the desktop or wherever you want to keep it. It doesn't matter. You're not going to keep it there forever. Uh, open it up. And you can see all the camos here. Usually you have to hit view and then large icons. It kind of starts out like this or usually like this, something like that. So just hit view, large icons. Then you can actually see the individual camos and the camos they replace. So like Damascus replaces fall, Obsidian replaces urban. So just leave that you know down there for now. So now once you have this extracted to your desktop, just leave it alone for now. You don't really need to do anything with that. Uh, then you want to open up wherever you keep your games again. So again, mine's in my D drive. But you know if you don't have it on Steam, it's not going to be in your Steam file. Obviously, it'll be wherever you keep the game. Uh, but if you're on Steam, just open up Steam folder, Steam apps, common, Mono for two. And then you go to main, and then you're going to find IW underscore 07. And then again, you're going to do this thing with the WinRAR. So you open up WinRAR. Once you have WinRAR open, just go ahead and drag IW underscore 07 into WinRAR. Again, go to images, and then drag the camos right from the MW folder into there. Now, this part gets a little confusing, so I will show you what that kind of looks like. So once you open up the camos folder, uh, you, obviously you can see all the individual camos. What you're going to want to do is select, so like if you want to do the same ones as me, Damascus and Obsidian, uh, you just want to hold control and then click the camo and the file next to it. And you're also going to need the smaller picture up there and the file next to that. And Obsidian, same thing, same thing. And then you're basically just going to drag that right into the right into the folder here. It'll zip it and that's it. And then you're done. X out of that, X out of that, and then launch the game and you have the camos. And that's basically it. It's really not rocket science. I would say IW5 is the only one that gives you a little bit of trouble. And again, that might be because of an update or just some bug. And maybe it doesn't happen to everybody. I don't know. The videos I watched were pretty old. So maybe it's a new thing, but I'm not too sure. But again, it's easy enough. It's really, you know, once you know that local app data step, it's really not that hard. Now, if you followed all those steps, congratulations. You now have custom camos in Black Ops 2, Mono for 2, and Mono for 3. Obviously, the modified versions only, that being Plutonium and IW4X. Uh, it's simple enough. It really isn't that hard. If a simpleton like me can figure it out, you definitely can too. I hope I was helpful. Again, all credit, download links, all that kind of stuff will be down below in the description. So if you're new here, subscribe, drop a thumbs up if I helped you out. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Any questions, if you need help with anything, you know, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. And, you know, if I can help you out, I will. But again, this is really simple and it's really fun. It's just kind of fun to mess around with the camos. I know it's something crazy, but it is just really cool to kind of see this stuff in these older games. But yeah, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.